All right, welcome back. We've got tons of side quests. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's try this one. Hey, if you're not doing nothing, could you use some help with this? Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Uh, ask around in Moxie and Zags, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all in. I don't got that kind of time. All right, so let's figure out who it is. <clears throat> this quest is a little... Hey, I got a job for you. Oh. Jack blasted my personal safe out of my own store. My most precious treasure could be in the hands of some freeloading bandits by now. Head back to that city site, hole in the ground, and get my safe back. All right, will do. All right, let's switch back over to this one. How's that job going? I have quite a bit of money riding on you. Oh, we don't even have to talk to it. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, I heard a gunshot a couple of hours back. Naturally, I ignored it until someone came and got me. Uh, <laughs> well, I found this boy bleeding on the concrete, a uh, single bullet in his throat. And, and I saw one of these gutter boys running away. And that's all I know right now. More is the pity. All right, so we started out this video strong with zero fails. This quest is weird, if I remember correctly. A gutter brother? Oh yeah, one of them barged in here a couple hours ago, demanding safe haven. I told him I couldn't make any promises, and he got bitchy. Had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ate the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. Yeah, it's um, weird because I guess they give you a whole bunch of misdirections. Like that one right there. I just remember because I chose the, the guy who had the health missing. And that wasn't the right, right one. So I'm trying to remember which one is. Sure, I pulled a round out of one of them gutter boys. I healed him up as good as new. Ah. The little skunk overpaid me. Six thousand, five thousand bucks. You <laughs> don't need to confiscate that or anything, do you? <laughs> All right, so... It wouldn't be the one with health missing, because Zed fixed him up. Which makes sense. So he's got a shield, and he's got full health. That's what we know. And he paid a ton of money. Ennis. Barlow. Only now do I understand. Oh, he's got a rocket launcher, sniper rifle. Pistol and shield and Huh, let's try this one. Yeah, I did it! I ain't sorry! What? Nice. Man, good job, deputy. Barlow thought he could snipe an innocent man and get away with it. But that was a long shot. <laughs> nice. I guess the rocket launcher's a real giveaway. Thank you. Ooh, plus a hundred percent melee damage. Hell yeah! All right, that quest was so worth it. I was getting worried that it wasn't going to be worth it. That's awesome. All right, let's just so we don't ever get confused. Let's put that one there. All right. So we got damage received by various damage types. Ooh, plus melee damage.
Yeah, we want the plus melee damage. And now number four. Ooh. All right. Cyan, Psycho, Cell. So we just now got rid of our pl first plus melee damage weapon. That's absurd. Alright, let's see if there's any other easy, easy ones hanging around here. Johnny Waffles. Uh oh, Clan War is gonna take forever. A few years back, I won two prizes in Moxie's Underdome a chest full of loot and Moxie herself. I lost the second prize to Jack and the first to a thief named Carson. I don't care if I never see those guns again, but if you want, just find Carson in the dust. Find Carson in the dust. All right. And clan wars. Hey cutie, got a job for you. Why don't you stop by my place out in the dust? All right, that's easy enough. Um, hmm. Greetings. Do you feel you have too many bullets, but not enough money? Nope. You're wondering why I don't go out into the field. The answer is old Slappy, a thresher that nearly killed me. Science demands I forgive it. Vengeance demands I kill it. Today, my friend, you will be my vengeance. Take my hand. Old Slappy removed several of my limbs the last time we met. One hopes the scent of my extremities will bring him out of hiding, make him eager to finish the job, as it were. Plant my hand outside Slappy's lair in the highlands. All right. Hello, mercenary person. I have money and a problem. Those crystallists are right bastards, aren't they? Scientific term. If you could find out just what got up the crystallists' collective bum and the social costs, I'd be willing to pay you a pretty penny. Metaphorically, I'd be paying you a great deal more than a penny. It's just a saying I'm fond of. Off to the caustic caverns with you. All right. All of these quests are going to take a lot of time. So, I think I'm going to spend the rest of this time figuring out which one I want to do. And then we'll go and do them. This, oh, there's a quest in here. Let's see what's in here. If you could stand still for oh. a moment, I require something of you. Okay. Some people who are not me might consider slag experimentation immoral. Some people would not be willing to pay you a great deal of money for bringing me experiment results from the Hyperion Preserve. Some people are stupid. <laughs> All right, you then. will help me and I will pay you. It is as simple as that. Sounds good. In a fit of extreme paranoia, I hid my notes on the opening of the vault and promptly forgot their locations. While I grind my teeth to dust and frustration, you will retrieve these journals for me. All right. I can do that too. Those are both wildlife preservation things, so those will probably end up being last. So let's see what, uh, oh, Claptrap. He's got a fun one. We'll do that one right now. You cannot hide from the truth! Hey, I have a job of the utmost importance. It's my birthday. I first rolled off the assembly line seven years ago. Do me a favor and hand out these invites for my stellar birthday bash, will you? And quickly, we're going to start any minute. All right. Grab invitations. Let's invite people. Scooter! <clears throat> you know who I haven't seen, at least in this game? <laughs> There's a guy who appears in Sanctuary. I think it's like 5% of the time. Um, when when Borderlands 2 was newer gamey, was there a hundred percent of the time, but only actually gave something out five percent of the time. What's it take to get a um, shovel off this planet? Oh, invite Moxie. Oh, sorry, I can't make it. Give Claptrap my love, though. My purely platonic love. 
don't want him getting any ideas. <laughs> um, and what this guy does is if you see him around your city, uh, he'll give you a pretty cool, pretty awesome weapon. <laughs> no. All right then. And, uh, where am I going? And so, uh, yeah, he, he only shows up like 5% of the time. I believe his name is like Michael Mamoril. And he's got a very, actually, that's a very cool story about that character. I'm um, some pizza and some sparkling wigglers. Just hit that thumb box and we'll get this party started. Sparkling wigglers? All right. The guests should be arriving any minute. All right. Um, and from what I've heard is that this character was actually fashioned out of um, after uh, a guy who's I think died of cancer, who had cancer, and he was really big Borderlands One fan. So, like, last minute, the Borderland, uh, Gearbox crew, you know, they, they met with him, and they talked with him, and they put him in this game, and he is, I, I think they named that, this Michael Memorial character after him, he's... I'm sure everyone just got lost. This place is kind of hard to find. And, uh, so yeah, as they're kind of, like tribute to this kid who was in a very bad situation but really like their game they just you know they put him in the game which is awesome to me it I, that was one thing that really um one thing that really stood out to me about gearbox as as a company was they won't cough, 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 cough. Let me know when you're done with that job. All right. Um. Cause that. Oh, right. I don't have love. Minion, can you blow into this thing? Maybe liven the party up a bit. Why did it pause? Oh. All right. Yay. There we go. Because that would never happen <laughs> with someone like, uh, I don't know, one of your bigger developers like Activision or, you know, any, any of the bigger Sorry. places. That would be a very rare occurrence, I would I think. think that about wraps it up. Thanks for, um, thanks for coming to my party, Minion. It, uh, looks like I bought way too much pizza, so uh, take some home if you want. Okay. I like pizza. That was the best party I've ever thrown. Oh wow. That one sells for a lot more. That was the best party he's ever thrown. That's kinda sad. Kinda sad. I'm hoping that I can one time find Michael Memorial just to show you who Hi, he is. Man, wow. I, uh, I need something. You need three somethings. Shorty must die. That cross blocker defense, one of my catch and rides, and nobody does that except ladies I want to bang and sometimes me when I'm drunk. He's hiding in stalker territory. Go get him. All right. Fine, Shorty. Got some work for you. Hey, you met my girl, Lenny. She perfect, man. Blonde. A great body. Distantly related to me. Great body. But then Fred Dratch brainwashed her. You got to snap her out of that cannibalism crap. I don't want to get bit. Bring Lanny her favorite flowers and food, and I'm sure she'll come around and stop biting. <laughs> oh, and if you find any porno mags, I'm just saying if you come across them in a natural light sense, just snag those for me too, okay? All right. Hey, man, I think Roland wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook, see if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks have been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. Dollars for donuts, they could use your help. The shivers. All right. 
Scooter's got to. Scooter's one of the more interesting characters I think in this game. He's whoever voice acted him did a very good job because I find him very entertaining to listen to. It could be the writing, but the voice acting is also very very good. All right, so now video is. Oh my goodness, video is half over already. <sighs> think slaughterhouse. The fridge. Um, what do we want to do? 19, 20, 18, 16. So that's level 16. Let's do that one. Where do we want to go? Overlook. All right. I think we're going to have to start whittling these down by level because I need to be a little bit over leveled to do some of these. Hmm. Oh, and there's a quest here as well. No, no, there's not. I lied. The Shivers. <laughs> Pick up Tannis' Echoes. Yay, Echoes. All right. Hold your applause. Alright, so where do we want to go? That is a good question. Um, wow. Alright, so it looks like there's one there. I'm only seeing three. Oh, there's the fourth one. I don't even know where that one is. Oh, yes, I do. All right, let's let's go to the right. Let's go up to this one. And then we'll try running our way through. So that means we got to go through this Hyperion area, which is fine. I think it's time to explore that area. Sounds good to me. Meh. We Come on, Moss. There we go. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Man. Uh, come on. Come on. You can do it. Wow, I'm like just stucker than stuck. Whoops. Alright, time to run. Nice. That was a real win. I don't think anybody could win any harder than that, to be honest. Oh, Threshers! Alright, let's, let's get out of there. Okay, alright, I know what that is. I gotta run the whole way up here to get there. <coughs> One thing that I'm starting to get tired of is listening to this dude pant, because I've done a lot of running. A lot of running. But that's okay. So. Oh, that's right. This one's in there. How do we get in there? Well, whoops. Let's take out that, take out that, and that falls down. This one took a long time for me to figure out how to do. I am going to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slack jaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stared back at her, my mind screeching as I looked for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not... Hey, y'all! Oh, no! Oh, no! 
Oh no. Jeez. Stupid scooter. Alright. Oh no. Let's strafe. Oh man. That thing really wrecked me. Uh. Exploder. Alright. Full health there. Here we go. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I just got wrecked. Oh, I actually got it. Nice. Huh. Warning. Grenade. All right. That's right, I got the homing Teslas. Oh no. Got it, yes. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. No. Oh, nice. I actually took its arm off. Oh, nice. <coughs> that was easy. Um. Okay, so I gotta get up to get to our echo. Yeah, so this area is... Oh, that's right. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me take care of this asshole. Burst it! Ah. Death to live! Death to live. Alright, makes sense to me. So, um. Where is it? It's not right. Alright. We'll figure it out. We'll find it. I promise. There is uh, an Easter egg that I was talking about earlier, or that I mentioned earlier, is in this area. Ooh. Is that purple? No. Blue, though. White, white, green. Health. Yay. All right. So let's come through here. Um, I'm going to be sad if I can't find that. I know it's up here somewhere. I'll find it. Don't worry. But first, we got to do more fighting. I like the engineers. They're easy. Little flesh sacks die in two hits. Uh... Got him. Huh. Alright. Where did he go? Where did he go? Got, got him. There's like a little natural bunker here. That's cool. So, oh, another weapons crate chest thing. The Hyperion ones are pretty sleek. 
Uh oh. That's a lot of people. So. Nice. Got him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um. Did I get a corrosive grenade? Because that would really help right now. Um. Scroll down. We did. Loud corrosive cloud continually damaged. We're going to go with that one. Even though it, was, it does a lot less damage. Let's. Hopefully that will help. Oh, come on. Right behind me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. No, that was not good. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... Corrosive, not that good. I basically, I just gotta run up here. I gotta smack him in the face. didn't die nice so that thing's hard to fight and it starts me all the way back here lovely no don't do it fun time wow all right Come on, come on, run. Let's just run away. Stop getting shot, hopefully. Works for me. Alright. What is that sound? That's supposed to be electric? Alright. So. Oh, corrosive barrel. That's what I saw. Alright. That constructor is a pain in the ass. Um, I don't really have anything good to deal with him. So, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully he didn't regain health. But, I mean, that wouldn't wouldn't be this game if, if he didn't. Oh, boy. Oh, I think I figured out where the... Uh, thing is all right anyways use your words Andrew use your words oh nice oh no grenades I lied two grenades Come on, just a little bit of health. Nope. All right. 
Oh, jeez. Alright, the constructor is almost dead. Uh, man, either he's got a lot of health or my grenades don't do much damage. Oh, jeez, where's that coming to? Right there, run. I killed all of them. Nice. Uh. Killed him. Awesome. All right. So, that thing that we were looking for is around here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. So, how do I... Nice. Nice. The same questions occurred to me today as I was pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of sanctuary citizens. <laughs> I like this because she's so antisocial. Like, unbelievably antisocial. And it's awesome. Because I'm slightly the same way. Not that bad. But. Yeah. Anyways. All right, so that's not it. Um, man, I cannot for the life of me remember where this uh, thing is. I thought it was down that way. I'm pretty sure it's down that way. So we will, maybe it's just down this way. Oh yeah, there it is. Found it. We gotta run over here. I think that find this we find this Have a good day. Bye-bye.